Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. We pause now to ask God's mercy upon us and upon the whole world. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> a reading from the book of Genesis. Abram was very rich in livestock, silver and gold. Lot, who went with Abram, also had flocks and herds and, and tents, so that the land could not support them if they stayed together. Their possessions were so great that they could not dwell together. There were quarrels between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and those of Lot's. At this time, the Canaanites and the Perizzites were occupying the land. So Abram said to Lot, let there be no strife between you and me or between your herdsmen and mine, for we are kinsmen is not the whole land at your disposal? Please separate from me. If you prefer the left, I will go to the right. If you prefer the right, I will go to the left. Lot looked about and saw how well ordered the whole Jordan plain was as far as Zoar, like the Lord's own garden, or like Egypt. This was before the Lord had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot therefore chose for himself the whole Jordan plain and set out eastward. Thus they separated from each other. Abram stayed in the land of Canaan, while Lot settled along the cities of Plain, pitching his tents near Sodom. Now the inhabitants of Sodom were very wicked in the sins they committed against the Lord. After Lot had left, the Lord said to Abram, look about you and from where you are, gaze to the north and the south, east and west. All the land that you see, I will give to you and your descendants forever. I will make your descendants like the dust of the earth. If anyone could count the dust of the earth, your descendants too might be counted. Set forth and walk about in the land to its length and breadth, for to you I will give it. Abram moved his tent and went on to settle near the Terebrith of Mamre, which is at Hebron. There he built an altar to the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. He, he who does justice, justice will, will live in the presence of the Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, <clears throat> who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. He, he who, who does, does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, 
nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who lends not his money at usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, do not give what is holy to dogs or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot and turn and tear you to pieces. Do to others whatever you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction, and those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life, and those who find it are few. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The Lord entreats us to go the more difficult route. It reminds me of my favorite poem, you know, the, the two roads diverged in the wood and I, I took the road less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. We are called to go by the narrow road because, you know, doing just anything and everything that comes along is easy and we wander from thing to thing. We are attracted from new sensation to new sensation, but the road that can keeps us following the Lord is a narrow road. It's a focused road. It's one that we take with determination, with a decision of the heart, with discernment of spirit, so that we may follow him in truth. We may follow him in holiness, follow him in grace. The Lord bids us to go the narrow route, one of the ways he tells us to do that is the golden rule, to do to others what we would have them do to us. Not what they have done to us, but what we would want them to do for us is what we are called to do for others. May we treat others with the ultimate of respect and love, just as Jesus did. Then we will follow him on the narrow road that leads to life. Let us stand to pray. Let us turn with great humility to the Father as we lay our prayers and petitions before him. For the church, may the Holy Spirit grant us the gift of fortitude in taking the good news of Jesus Christ to all parts of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For world leaders, may they be blessed with God's wisdom in policy making and governing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For farmers everywhere, may the Lord bless them with a successful growing season and an abundant harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For this community of faith. May the Holy Spirit guide our paths in all we say and do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, may they soon rest in the loving arms of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For what else shall we pray? For peace in the Ukraine and for a clear head. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our 
our prayer. For peace and strength in body, mind, and spirit for my Aunt Patty, who I am remembering and for the intention in this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you sent your Son for our salvation. Hear the prayers we bring to you today with trusting hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Lord, be pleased with the sacraments we offer you. Come, Lord, hear our prayers. Wash us from our iniquities and cleanse us of our sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created us, and when we were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed us, through Jesus our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence, we pray now in the words our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. It's in the third verse of our hymn. Four, four, five, I believe. You do not live by bread alone, but